It's all good. Five second rule, right? Hi, welcome to another episode of Tom's Geeky Garage. Today, we got a cool project for you guys. We are going to be making a a mini Ecto-1 by Kenner. So, we're going to be taking the 3D process that we used last week on making our little Egon's and we're going to be duplicating that and now making Egon his own Ecto-1. Um, so, let's get started. But before we do, remember to like and share this video and we'll try to keep making more. So, let's get started. All right, so I just got the Ecto-1 that I ordered on eBay. Obviously, it's, it's missing the fins, missing all the doors, um, missing pretty much all the guts, which is okay for what we're gonna do with it. Uh, a cool thing is I got this from, oh, look at that damage. I'll have to fix that. Um, got uh, this, this, uh, this was the, inside the box when I got it. You see here it says, Tom, have fun and don't get pulled over. Thanks again, John B. Look at that. That was nice. And then inside, he also gave me a couple of uh, Yo MTV rap cards. A couple vintage uh, old uh, rap cards here. What's really funny about it is I remember having this Dr. Dre and Ed Lover card when I was a little kid. I actually had this one because I was like, that's not Dr. Dre. Different Dr. Dre. This is like... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> so that's neat. And uh, so now we can prep this and uh, get ready to start the project. All right, luckily I had some leftover doors from the Ecto restoration project from season one. Uh, and here you can see all the parts for scanning laid out. All right, so the actual car body and the frame and the seat are just going to be primered using a basic general primer um, but the clear windows and the wheels which I have to replace back to their original color um, because of restoration um, are going to have to be painted with a little different paint. Alright so here we're mixing up um, this is going to be like a water based uh, a water based uh, kind of primer um, this is basically for the window and the wheel after we get done scanning them I want to restore it back to its original state if I primer it um, the only way to clean it would be with like acetone and it would destroy this uh, clear plastic and it would uh, probably wipe this chrome off of here because acetone would melt that probably could actually melt the parts too because they are probably ABS or something but what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this water base we're gonna airbrush them with this water base and then we will scan it and then that water, this stuff with uh, alcohol or just uh, water will probably wash off these so I can clean them back to this state so we can do a restoration later. Oh! It's all good. Five second rule, right? Alright, after I actually got all the parts primered, um, I used a black wash and kind of washed all of the parts with that and that allowed the detail um, to come through. Here you can see the setup I used for taking the photos. I used just a draped green screen with wrinkles and everything <laughs> uh, and took a series of photos. Um, so next, um, after the photos are taken, we put those into our photo scan, which is the photogrammetry program that's going to take those photos and create geometry for us. And you can see the body here. And this is just a point cloud. Uh, and soon we'll convert that into geometry. Alright, uh, here you can see most of the body panels. Um, Right now I'm chopping them up in smaller bits, um, that way I can print them on my printer because my printer has a very small build volume. So to give you an idea of that, here is the in uh, cinema here where I've chopped it. And then if we go over this computer, this is the 3D um, uh, printer software. 
So let's go Bonnie, front. Okay. All right, so now you can see there Let's see if we can get this front to fit. Oh boy. Oh boy. We might have to cut that one in half. Alright, so after we got all the parts sliced up, we started printing stuff out in the Risen printer. And here you can see an assembly of all the miniature parts. Um, I'm still in the process of gluing together um, all the body parts. You can see the rear of the top there and most of the bottom. So, so after all the parts are printed, we can just glue them together. Um, I'm using files and sandpaper to clean off any support structures. And uh, I'm using a light cure pen here. And this is just a pen full of the same kind of resin that we printed with that I'm going to use just to fill in the cracks. And then I'm just going to cure it real quick with a pen. Uh, and this will all be sanded smooth and hide the seams. <laughs> Sorry, this is just some footage from a different show. I don't know why this is here. I'm not going to go back and edit it now. So, sneak peek! Sneak peek, boys! Okay, anyways, back to the back to the project. Uh, now we're down to the painting. The painting was pretty simple. I used water-based uh, paints to do custom colors to match the original plastic of the Ecto-1. And I used the white spray paint to just do the body panels and the doors. Um, not really not much to talk about when it comes to painting. Um, set it outside to dry. Uh, finished it with a light coat of clear. Um, the wheels here, you can see painted. I actually painted the wheels with uh, spastic mirror chrome paint to get that chrome look like the original Ecto had. Alright, so here is the doors and the wheels. Um, for the stickers, I printed out um, the original sticker sheet. See right there, and uh, I printed the original sticker sheet out, and then we'll we'll cut these out, and we'll actually glue these on um, to the doors when we're finished. Here's another quick look at the wheel. I don't know why I keep showing the wheels. I guess I was pretty happy with those wheels. <laughs> Here you can see the body with the wheels uh, assembled and, it, and that rolling and actually functioning, which is cool. Alright, so for the windows, um, since my 3D printer wouldn't print, um, it wouldn't print stuff as thin as the windows. Um, we just took some plastic and tinted it blue. And uh, we are just going to glue this into the uh, glue this into the body. And then um, the siren lights will be done later. I'll probably have to 3D print those out of clear resin and tint those later. But for now, for the main windows, we're just gluing in these gluing in these um, these kind of windows. You can see here we got the we got the doors doors ready to go here um, and our fins got our dash and there's our body with our our wheels on it there all right so that's it uh, the project came out pretty cool um, unfortunately you know we did lose some detail um, in the scanning process and in the printing process you know some of the smaller details that were on the ecto we did lose um you know and that's that's just how that's how it works out i guess i mean it's just no way to actually improve on that with what i have available um so you can see that the car uh, behind me you can see it there came out really nice looking everything looks uh looks just like the original it's just a little bit lower detail but I like it and uh, it's pretty cool so uh, that's it for this show so uh, remember to like and share this video if you liked what I did and uh, um, you know see you next time <laughs>